Ollie and Beth, their names. Yes, they uh, names for me. They have names. Awesome. Ollie, I should start to name Beth. my favorite things. Do. Please do. It's absolutely amazing. Would you like to see something cool? So I have here two brush pens. Um, and I have here some paper. Um, and the reason I have two brush pens is because I have two hands. And oh, you can draw like two at the time? Yeah. And so um, what I've been uh, doing recently is been, actually by recently, I mean today. Um, <laughs> Going and uh, drawing people um, on Omegle. That's um, cool. Yeah. Takes me about two minutes to draw a person's picture. Maybe three minutes. Um, I've been just trying to put my music out. <laughs> and it's something that I used to do on trains and planes and buses and all sorts of public transport. But um, right now, uh, Malaysia is kind of like under a very strict lockdown. The country that I live in is in a very strict lockdown. And so... Oof. Uh, I can't take planes and trains and buses and all that anymore. So, Omega was something that I decided to try. I've just been, wait, I just make music and play music and do covers and shit. Mm -hmm. Wait. Like, and I put them on TikTok and Instagram and I try to, like, Promoted. boost that out here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually really am happy that um, people nowadays are cr creating a lot more. It's just a bigger part of the culture. Yeah. It's um, also harder to create now because there's so many people that if you want to create something and put it out in the world, you have to be really good. I would not say that it's harder to create. It's a lot harder to get noticed. Yeah. Um, so that's what I'm trying to, you know, if I can build up with followers, mm -hmm. then, you know, maybe at some point I can do something with music. Mm -hmm. What is it that makes you most passionate about music? The way you can sort of give your own emotions to other people. Okay. I guess that's really cool. Like... The thing that's, like, really trending about Olivia Rodrigo, mm -hmm. like, when she went through, like, a breakup and, like, people saying, like, even though I'm in a healthy relationship, I can feel her, you know, I can feel her emotions through her music, and I'm trying to do that, you know, give my emotion, let other people feel my emotions. Mm -hmm. I think that's cool. Thank you. Let's have a, a few songs that you're working on. Yeah, I'm just working on a few things now. Mm -hmm. um, and, but, like, there's... A little piece of one on my account. The process of writing music is so much harder than I thought. <laughs> I totally believe you. It's um, not just because, mm -hmm. like, either I have a melody, and then I can't like get my lyrics right, or I have a lyric like of lyrics, and I have to squeeze those into a melody, and I have <laughs> it's just not coming together. Mm -hmm. But just. Practice makes perfect, I guess. Can I see the finished product? I'm actually really curious now. So here is the black pass. Oh, that's cool. And I'm going to go in um, with the second pass, which is going to be gray. That's going to take another 60 seconds. Go ahead. What is? What would you say is was your biggest um, preconception about writing music before you started to write it? That people can express their feelings just easily. <laughs> <laughs> the feelings that you have into words would be easy no <laughs> like yeah sure you see how other people like write it and they describe it in a certain way like yeah I could come up with that no no you can't <laughs> what would you give to uh, somebody new who's um, maybe writing their own stuff um go in it blindly if that that may sound weird but go blindly don't try to, you know, make how other people did it and do that, but do what you do, do what, how you want to make music. Mm -hmm. Don't go like, oh my god, Justin Bieber did it like this, I'm going to do it like that too. No. Don't look at other people, look at yourself. How do you feel? How do you want to make it? What do you feel about fame? 
I think it's double. Because there's always two sides to it. There's always two sides to a coin. Mm -hmm. On one side, it's it's great that you get recognized for the stuff that you do. That you get to meet a shit ton of cool people. That you get to be there and that people know who you are. And on the other side, there's expectations, there's pressure, there's, you know, maybe some hate from some sides mm -hmm. that's really not welcome. <laughs> Because I've watched, like, a couple of documentaries of, like, how people enter the world of fame and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they're, like, leading up to it, there's a lot of pressure before you're famous to, you know, become that person that people want to see. But then after you're, like, debuted and shit, mm -hmm. then there's more pressure to keep being new, keep being, you know, inventive, keep being new, new and new shit and stuff. So I think there's... Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's actually cool. If you don't mind, I would actually like to be able to cut together like the, the, the portion of this that where I was drawing you into a YouTube video. Oh, that's actually really cool. I didn't mm -hmm. know. Cool. Sure, thank you. Um, the username right there, like I'm Halo X, okay. is on TikTok as well as Instagram. It's the same name. Okay. Because cool. like Instagram Reels only has like 30 seconds, which is kind of short to put like a whole part it's like the full version is always on tiktok okay cool thanks you're a great guy thank you nice meeting you Fuck out my